video will help you prepare for Lab 4, Control of Bacterial Growth. First, you'll need to make some Mueller Hinton auger plates. If you need a refresher on how to make the plates, check out our video demo for making media. And you also are going to need to prepare spread plates using Staphylococcus epidermidis. Review the video on spread plate technique if you need a refresher. Now we're going to go over how to apply the disinfectants, antiseptics, and food items to your plates. First, you're going to flame sterilize your tweezers. You're going to need to use tweezers from home, just like when we sterilized the spreader in lab number three. Take it, knock off any excess alcohol, and flame it. Let it cool for a few minutes. Then you're going to go to your bag of filter paper discs, open the bag, and then aseptically grab a filter paper disc out. In this instance, we have our two mouthwashes here. Mouthwash number one, I'm going to dip the filter paper disc in the mouthwash, and I'm going to let it touch against the side to get off any excess moisture. You don't want it dripping. And then I'm going to open my plate, place it on the auger surface, and just tap gently to ensure that the filter paper is secure on the auger. Then flame sterilize, then repeat with your other um, mouthwash. You're going to need to do this for your disinfectants, ethanol, bleach, Lysol, and hydrogen peroxide. Use the same procedure except on plate number two, just as indicated in the lab instructions. For your food items, you'll need to also flame sterilize your tweezers, and instead of using the filter paper discs, directly pick up your food item and place on the plate. You'll need to do that for your garlic, your onion, your red pepper flake, and the other food items that you might want to use. If you're not able, if you are not comfortable with taking the filter paper disc and directly dipping into your mouthwash, just pour a little bit into a little disposable cup or a plate or something like that just so you can get a little bit of liquid on. You don't need a lot. And you're going to do this for you know, all your plates, one, two, and three, then you're going to incubate the plates at 37 degrees for 48 hours and do not invert them.